By all reports, the day was meant to be terrible for fishing, so I decided to go out and test the theory for myself. It does make me very nervous hooking those good fish on uh, on the light gear. That... Oh no! Oh, Struth. Struth, it's happening again. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yes! G'day legends, Sammy here and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Now, I'm out here testing a theory today. According to the Angler's Alamac, this is a very low fish activity day. Out of three fish, it is rated zero fish. So, by all accounts, today is going to be a massive donut session. But, I thought the weather's good, we haven't had much good weather lately, so, what the hell? I'm going to get out here and give it a red hot crack and see if there is any fish biting. And if they are, if they're going crazy or if I really have to work hard for them. It's a good little experiment because, you know, if you re read and believed everything you saw, I don't think you'd ever get out of the house and go fishing at all. So, we're out here. It's meant to be a bad day, but we're going to make the most of it. Plan of attack, I'm going to chuck some plastics around this morning. Then once the sun gets up a bit, I'm going to go chase something a bit more pelagic. With a bit of luck, you can wrangle up a feeder snapper and maybe even a spotty mackerel or a school mackerel or two. But it's prime time now, probably the perfect time to be fishing, so I don't want to waste the best time of the day chatting to you guys on camera when I could be casting. So let's get out there and have a crack and see what this day brings. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. Had a bit of technical difficulty with camera two at the start of the video. So just a heads up, all the vision you'll see for the first little part is from camera one. Okie dokie. So I've got a five inch Z-Man and uh, a bit of luck to find something to eat it. Hit of the morning, and I missed it. With a bit of luck, that's not a sign of things to come. I really want to get that first fish on the board. Just the duck breaker, just to ease the pressure. Once you're off a donut, it's all bloody smiles. Stuck on a donut though. Yeah, that's not not ideal. Fairly decent morning though, weather was. What can you see? A couple little taps here. I wouldn't say I'm getting uh, absolutely belted. Maybe it's the low activity sort of thing. Showing on the sounder, so look, I'm confident. I'm confident. Without actually documenting it, I reckon I've um, I've definitely caught fish on no fish days before. But I don't know if I've ever filmed it. So that's going to be the big test. Oh, that was a real good hit just then. On the drop, that felt snappery. Oh, yes! 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 Oh, that's a nice fish, too! Ha. Up you come! Oh! Well, that is feeling like pretty solid fish, whatever it is. Got a nice bit of weight there. Oh, absolutely belted that. I got a little hit on the drop. 
and I just gave it a shake. I struck at the head, gave it a shake, and then this guy, oh, it's a cod. It is a little estuary cod. Why well, don't explain why he thought of it. But that is a, that's a nice little cod. He gave a good account of himself. And more importantly, off the donut. Off the donut on a no fish day. So that is a good start. It took me, according to the GoPro, it took me nine minutes and 30 seconds to get my first fish. I did miss a few other hits beforehand. Um, but hey, I'm happy to wait nine minutes between fish. If it keeps going like that, I'm gonna have a damn good day. I'm gonna uh, grab the hooks there. Actually, I might give you, I'll show them to you first. Well, that's the account opener for this morning. Nice estuary cod, he's a nice fish. Good size, if you were gonna keep one to eat, this is the size to do it. This will be my backup plan. He's gonna go in the live well until I can replace him with a snapper or something equally as tasty. Uh, personal choice, not a big fan of keeping cod. They are great for the reefs. They keep them all nice and clean, clean up all the scraps. So where I can, I let them go, unless I'm really hard up for a feed. But put him in the live well and hopefully we can replace him quite soon. That's fish number two on the board. Uh, little grassy sweet lip. This guy, he's a dinner fish. 39 centimeters, well and truly legal. Fantastic on the plate. No donuts, guys, no donuts. This is exciting. How's the blue on their eyes? Isn't that just the most magical color you'll ever see? Unreal, what a paint job. Gonna get this guy on the ice. Hey legends, I forgot to record it, but I released that cod after I landed the little sweet lip. I was pretty confident that I was gonna get some more fish for a feed. It's not a bad start. Two fish still in the first drift. Missed a couple other hits. Now to just accelerate. Got my eye in. Got the confidence up. Can't bring home a few more. Surely I'm gonna have to get some good karma from the old uh, cod release. Surely. Didn't really do myself any favours today. I've made it as hard as, as mythically possible. The old. I didn't bring any bananas on the boat, but I ate one in the drive up. I uh, didn't have much around for brekkie. So, oh, here we go. Oh, no, that was a good hit. I just pulled out of his mouth. I'm getting hit, so that says to me that they're definitely feeding. Whether it's just gonna be the dawn burst and they're gonna shut down once that sun gets a bit higher, or or what, we'll, we'll soon find out. But for the moment they're feeding, that's the main thing. Just had a quick jig head change. Went up a size, just wanted to get down into the strike zone and a touch quicker. Dilly dallying up on the surface for too long. I want to be down deeper. Deeper, faster. Yep, got him. Got him. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It feels like another grassy, but maybe it's much smaller. Oh, it's having a dig. Oh, he hit it down on the bottom like he's just playing with it. Oh no, there you go, make a fool out of me. Little squire. Good to see they're around. I'll measure him just for interest's sake. Um, even if he's legal, it's not much you're gonna get off a fish that size, so he'll probably go back. I'll measure him just to see what he is though. He's 30 or 39 centimeters, 38 centimeters. So he's legal, but I reckon we can do better than that. The lucky day champion. Well, Guys, I, I don't want to start jinxing myself early, but that's that's three legal fish still in the first drift. Oh, I just had a touch then. Still in the first drift on the 
It's no fish day. Come on. Big snapper come and whoop it on the way down. Big mid 60s. Plenty of little tackers hitting it and playing with it. I think you just gotta, gotta wade through them. Keep your lure in the strike zone and wait for that those small fish to create a bit of commotion. It's something a bit more decent. Oh, that was a proper take. That was a proper take. Some of this mucking around with it. What have we got here? Oh, oh, oh! There's a massive shark after it. Oh, Struth. It's a little squire, but Struth is a shark right up his bum. Oh, well, that was almost cut short. He's 30, 37. Again, I reckon we can do better. You're off the day, mate. You're getting back down to the bottom real quick. Noah is in the area. Okay. This is a cast. Feeling big snapper time. I don't want to sound too desperate, but I still only have one fish. Oh my goodness me! That's a good fish. That is a real nice fish. Oh no! No! Oh, did me in the bottom. Oh, that was the one. Curly pigtail, and see you later. I thought I got onto him quick. Smoked. Oh, bugger. Steam train, that was. Mm. That makes me mad. I want that one. That's the one I want. Ah! All right, let's try that again with a bit more uh, with a bit more landing involved. Oh, that was that was big and quick. That was like getting reefed by a jack. Just literally grabbed it and just went straight down. I didn't even really get a chance to do anything. I loaded up on him. I wasn't hanging around. Been pretty lucky this morning. Nice and overcast, so I've got that prolonged dawn sort of light. So in my head, that's going to keep these fish on for longer. Oh. Oh. Geez, missing fish. Maybe it's the fish bite, it's just the angler has a no fish day. Just kooks all of them. Like I'm doing. Get me shot at a good fish. And I blew it. Well, that makes it hard. That makes it real hard. That is tasty. That is tasty. Oh. 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 The sun is still there. Oh. 
throwing towards me. Oh, it's tiny. I think it might be tiny. Oh, sorry, mate. That was a bit aggressive. I got excited. Got a bit excited. Not doing much now. What have we got here? This is a small snapper. I'm afraid I'm an easy legal. I reckon I'm gonna have to keep him. I've been nice to the other ones. Oh, he heard the magic keep word, and off he went. Well, serves me right for counting my chickens before they hatch. I don't think he was, he was much better than the other ones anyway, but I'm starting to get nervous. If I keep on turning away uh, eating fish, I'm gonna go home with nothing or just the one sweetie. That's not enough. A little Maori cod. She could have done with him if he was a bit bigger. Tasty little buggers they are. See you, mate. Time for a re-drift, I think. Oh, no, I've downsized to the, uh, the lighter, lighter gear, the 3000. And uh, this is pretty well flathead tackle. Uh, the fish seem to have shut down a little bit, so I thought I might be able to get out at a bit of a longer cast with a lighter gear. And if they're being fussy, I'll um, I might be able to pick up a few more hits and and nudges, fishing a bit lighter. I'm also going to run the risk of getting absolutely schooled. But hey, we'll see how we go. A bit of fish. He's coming up a bit now. Oh, this is the problem with the lighter gear. Come on. Oh, I can see him. Easy there, mate. What have we got? Oh, it's a that's the snapper. That's the snap I was chasing. That's the snap. Ooh. That's him. That is. That's the dinner fish. Oh, on the light gear as well. Yes. Oh, well, that was stressful. That was stressful. Now, this isn't a monster snapper by any stretch of the imagination. They get. Uh, three four times this big but on the light gear on a no fish day well hey I will take it uh, and it's also looking good for dinner that's a cracking little snap nice clean look at the colors on him plastic in the corner of the mouth absolutely smashed it you beauty well I'm chalking up some fish the quality seems to be a bit hard to find that's one thing i'm noticing plenty of small stuff around um this is the best fish i've apart from that big bust off this is the best fish i've caught all day so maybe that's what it is the uh the bigger fish don't don't come out to play or need a bit more convincing but as far as having a bit of fun there's no reason why you can't get out there in one of these days by the looks of things plenty of action around Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, dear. 
Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Come up. Come up. This is the one I want. Come up. Come up, please. This is a good fish. Smash it on the drop. Might be a nice snapper. Hopefully get a look at him very soon. Oh, there he is. It is a nice snapper. Oh, yes. 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 Yes, come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. 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 Please come here. Please come here. Please, guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. The light gear. The light gear's done it. Yes. Oh, that fish grabbed it on the drop and absolutely screamed off. You would have heard it. Cameras are rolling. Have a go at that for a snapper. Oh, you little ripper. Now, to put it into context, that's 20 pound leader and 10 pound braid. 3,000 reel. And I think it's a 10 to 17 pound rod. So pretty much what I use for flathead. This guy has absolutely belted it on the drop. Oh, it was the very next cast. Oh, I forgot that one before. And that is a cracking fish. That'd be, that'd be well over, over 60, probably on his way to 70. That is a fantastic fish to get on that light gear. Oh, he took some line too. Oh, so nervous. This is the one I was chasing and we got him. How good is that? <laughs> well guys I don't think well, I'm not done fishing but I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little chat now I definitely don't think you guys should be fishing on a no fish day no, I definitely don't do it if the Alamax says don't come fishing don't do it because it means there's all the more for me <laughs> yes oh guys there yeah. sorry I'm going a bit crazy but uh that is a really nice summer snapper and on the light gear, it does not get much more fun than that. You beauty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy as well. I'm gonna brain spike and bleed him, get him in the ice straight away. See if there's any more. This is enough fish for me. I've got that little grassy sweet lip, the two snapper. That is plenty of feed. Now I'm just gonna have a bit of fun, I think. You ripper, I'm so stoked. Have a go at him, have a go. Now I don't know if it was a coincidence or not that I've changed to light and then got two good fish straight up. Did I fish light and get the bite or was it just a lucky cast? Or two in a row lucky casts? Guess we'll find out this drift. It does make me very nervous hooking those good fish on uh, on the light gear. That... Oh no! <laughs> oh, struth. It's truth, it's happening again. It's happening again. This is another good fish. This is another real nice fish. He's coming. I think I've turned him. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. I said a lot about fishing the, the dawn bite early. It's now 8 o'clock in the morning, we are a long way past the dawn ball, and that's three hookups in three casts, and this is another really nice fish. 
I just got a flash of pink. I think we have another snappy dap. And a nice one at that. I don't think he's going to top that that second fish. But it doesn't matter when it's on gear like this. Oh, I might just straighten up my runners. Mid fight, that's the time to do it. Where do I put that net? Oh, it's another cracker. This guy I'll be releasing though. I've got enough for a feed. Oh, you sexy thing. You sexy, sexy thing. Come say good day to everyone here. Come say good day. Come say good day. <laughs> yes. Oh, whoa. Be calm. Be calm. Oh, he's got a, look at that. He's got a crab coming out his bum. Well, it's hard to argue. It's hard to argue. They are going off. And if you thought you were having a tough morning, imagine trying to poop out that. Look, there's a crab claw coming out his bum hole. We're going to get this guy back. See you, mate. And away he goes. Oh, this is too much fun. This is turning into a bloody great session. I might fish this time of the moon every time. Oh, the light gear is proving itself. I don't want to say too much because I think I'm getting real lucky here. So these fish are, are big and they're mean. And I think if they really wanted to, they could make an absolute meal out of me here. But stick to what's working. Just keep at it. <laughs> surely, surely it can't get any better. Prove me wrong. A few birds popping up too. It might be a shot at some pelagics. Shortly. But I'm definitely not going to drive away from these guys. I'm not driving away from a red hot snapper on plastic session. Not a chance. I wonder if it was just the light the lighter setup that's causing all the mischief. Now, that's going to bake my noodle. Got it. Just a little one this one. So far. Oh, bit of a tummy rumble. Getting a bit hungry. What have we? A little grass sweet lip. I'd like to see his big brother. The big ones are these go absolutely mental. Jeez, he scoffed that right down. See you, mate. Oh, got him. Oh, he's having a dig. I reckon there's got to be a grassy. Yep. Can miss call a fish. Can and will. Little snapper. Little snipper. Excuse me, Mr. Sniper. I will let you go. Ow! Little snappy. Little snappy. Oh. See you, mate. Oh, sun has come out. So it'll be interesting to see how this affects the fishing. Got him. Coming towards me. Oh, there he's awake. Now he's awake. Oh, come up. Come up. 
I'm going to stop calling fish early. I can see this one. It is a snapper. That's now, from now on, that's when I'm making my calls. I've got too many wrong this morning. It's making me look bad. That's another, that's a beautiful fish too. Actually, I'll tell you what, what I might do is I might keep this guy because he is perfect for cooking whole. And that is what you call the perfect pan sized snapper. Unfortunately for him, he's coming home. This day is going off. I'm stoked. So much for a, uh, a poor fishing day. I think that myth is well and truly busted and we're not even done yet. Got him. Oh. Done. Done like a dinner. What happened there? Just got me in the... Got me in the bottom. I don't think that fish knew he was hooked properly yet. He was just going sideways. I reckon he just swam past a bit of reef. That's a clean cut. Could have maybe been a mackerel or something, but um, yeah, who knows. I reckon this might be my last drift. Fish are still biting, but I want to go chase some uh, pelagics. So I might um, see how we go on this drift. Unless it's insane. Uh, might move along and see if I can find a, a schoolie or a spotty. Or even a, a long tail would be nice. Definitely would not complain about any of them. I'm not going to complain about this day at all, in fact. It's been unreal. I'm glad I came out. Now before I switch to pelagics, thought I might go through the uh, action and a bit of technique stuff that I was using for these uh, these fish this morning. So the outfit of the day was this light one here. This is a 3000 and a um, 3000 10 pound braid and a 10 to, or 10 to 20 pound rod. So nice and light, great flathead rod, and a, a nervous snapper rod. You can get them in, but you just can't really dictate terms with it. Um, oh, oh, something's getting belted up in the background there. Oh, tuna. Oh, there's tuna here. Um, now, majority of the hits I've got have been on, on the sink. As it's sinking down, it's a typical snapper hit. They'll eat it as it uh, drops down through the water column. Now, um, when it is getting to the bottom, I'm waiting for that little tick to, to signify that's getting on the bottom. Then I'm just giving the rod tip a really fast, short, sharp twitches. I call it a shake. And to me, in my head, what I, what I picture it doing is that lure staying really close to the strike zone so down near the bottom there but doing all erratic movements and i think that's what attracts the fish if they have a crack at it and then you give it a shake they kind of get interested again and have another go um, also it's because there's a lot of movement a lot of action and it's all erratic it will draw fish from a uh, from a, a large area as well well that's that's what i picture in my head and if you're confident in what you're doing and you kind of got an idea of what you think it should look like then it's a lot easier to execute and and you're a lot more confident in your retrieve um, the plastics i was using are the five inch z-man streaks uh, i believe they're called just the little flick bait the kind of fork tail flick bait oh sorry and i had them rigged on a 3 8 5 -oh jig head so five inches long 5 -oh jig head it's it's a pretty safe combination I haven't had much love this drift. I'm wondering if they've finally shut up shop for the morning, which will be the perfect time to go chase Blagics. I just saw those tuna busting up behind me there. So, um, yeah. I might even just have a quick cruise around here and see if I can find them and get a stick bait or a, uh, a slug in front of them because they look like good fish. They're moving a fair bit of water. So if I can get a couple of tuna or, or something Pelagic, that would be an absolute ripper. A ripper addition to the bag. 
Well, Legends, that was a pretty damn good dawn plastic session. For a low activity day, there was a fair bit going on. I'll let you guys be the judge if you think that was low activity or not, but for me, that was a pretty good session. Uh, they've gone off the chew now, though. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, so the Halco twist is on. Time to find some fast fish. I've seen a few tuna busts up around here, so I'm gonna go for a quick cruise. Um, then I'm gonna head out and just see if I can run, a, run across a patch of tuna or mackerel, or fingers crossed some spotty mackerel. It'll be lovely, or some long tails. I'll take some long tails as well. But probably have to do a bit of searching for that, so time to cover some ground and see what I can find. Well guys, as it turns out, low activity days does affect pelagics, I think. I could not get a schoolie, didn't see a spotty, and the tuna that I saw were that flighty, I couldn't even uh, hardly get a cast in. So um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day, it's about lunchtime now. I've been chasing these tuna for about two and a half, three hours, and uh, look, I just haven't even made any progress on them. So. I will, uh, I will chalk that one up as a loss, but this morning, big win. But I'm going to cruise back now, and I'll catch up with you guys back at the filleting station. Well, legends, back at HQ now, just about to fill it up dinner. Some prime quality eating fish, and I'll tell you what, they are going to go an absolute treat on the plate tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you will notice I'm beer free this afternoon. I just checked the fridge. All excited to have a beer while I was filleting. It's almost a ritual. I think it's borderline illegal not to have a beer while you're fielding fish especially in summer and I do not have a single stubby or tin in the fridge um, yeah I don't know what else to say I, I've dropped the ball and I, and I hope you guys can um, find it in your hearts to forgive me almost bought out a glass of water that's how um, desperate I am for refreshment but I decided against that and uh, look I reckon I'll make it through but only this once now, I think if I was to draw a conclusion from today, it would be, or well, besides from the uh, pelagics giving us the big hard swerve, would be to just get out there and go fishing. I caught a stack of reefies this morning, as you saw, on a day when they weren't meant to be chewing at all. So I think if you take anything away from today's adventure, it's if the weather's good enough to go fishing and you feel like wetting a line, get out there, because you can't catch them sitting on the couch. So. I think from now on, I don't know if I'm either going to bother looking at those uh, those almanacs or anything like that. Just get out there and have a red hot crack. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. A very scientific one this one. I'd love to hear from you guys though. If you've been out on a low activity day like me and absolutely brained them, I'd love to hear from you. Or alternatively, if you've been out on a low activity and just couldn't turn a reel, yeah, let us know in the comments below. But guys, if you like to learn something, as always, hit that like button. Leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. There is new fishing videos every single week. If you're chasing a hat, either the navy or the grey, you can do so on my website, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. Until next week, hope you're all well. Hope your beer fridges are stocked. And hope you're getting a few fish. See you guys.